In this week's recap, the Dow Jones Industrials Average hits 30,000 in response to promising vaccine news and lessening political uncertainty. And former Fed Chair Janet Yellen is nominated as Secretary of the Treasury. Life is too short to worry about what the next headline could do to your life savings. Hi, my name is Eric Hagan and I keep my thumb on the pulse of the economy and the markets so my clients can focus on the things that are actually important to them. Thank you for joining me the next few minutes on today's weekly economic video update. I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving this year, particularly with the crazy world that we find ourselves in. During last week's shortened week, stocks surged, ignited by another COVID-19 vaccine announcement, encouraging economic data, and the easing of political uncertainty. The Dow Jones Industrials Average rose 2.21%, while the Standard & Poor's 500 added 2.27%. The NASDAQ Composite Index, which has led all year, gained 2.96%, and the MSCI EFI Index, which tracks developed overseas stock markets, climbed 1.54%. For the third consecutive week, markets opened on Monday to yet another announcement of a potential COVID-19 vaccine. Stock prices found additional support on news that Janet Yellen, the former chair of the Federal Reserve, is to be nominated as Secretary of the Treasury. Investors reacted well to the choice, encouraged by her previously voiced support for greater fiscal stimulus and relieved that a candidate less antagonistic to the industry was selected. Positive momentum continued into the following day, driving the Dow Jones Industrials Average, S&P 500, and the Russell 2000 to record high levels, with the Dow closing above the 30,000 milestone. Stocks eased off their highs in pre-Thanksgiving trading, though the, they recovered some of those losses on Friday, as the S&P 500 and NASDAQ Composite closed with fresh record highs. The economic outlook has been difficult to figure out due to conflicting signals. One day it's a historic jump in economic growth, another day it's a record high in new COVID-19 infections. Last week was a good illustration of this. Reports of healthy consumer spending, a solid rise in durable goods orders, and sales of new homes remaining near almost 14 year highs were balanced by a jump in new jobless claims, a decline in household income, and new state and local COVID-19 related restrictions. Last week, investors chose to see the glass half full and look past the near-term challenges that the economy faces. Hey, this is Eric again. That's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. To learn how I give my clients life savings the attention it deserves, visit me online at www.erichagan.pro. If you'd like to get financially organized, go check out nocostfinancialdashboard.com. And lastly, if you'd like to take control of your 401k at work, visit us over at 401kinvestmentpros.com. Thank you again for your time today. I'll look for you next week.